Hello everybody and welcome to the modded character showcase. Today we're going to be checking out a very interesting character, one that's just dropped on the Steam Workshop recently, and this is, yeah, a bizarre character called the Hollow that actually cannot shoot. Now the character does have some very unique benefits compared to normal characters. For example, fly trinkets such as Apollyon's best friend here are going to be automatically gulped. Health upgrades, because we can only have soul hearts, are going to be converted into a maximum amount of our flies here. And we have this orbital sort of suite of flies. They're, they're just like regular blue flies. They're going to deal double our damage. And uh, they're going to respawn from our person based on our fire rate. So the character starts with very low stats, as you can see. But in fairness, I've tried this character out a little bit already. And the balance seems really nice. We're also going to get some unique benefits in the fact that uh, red hearts are going to give us spiders. And on top of that, some items are going to have unique synergies. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do with this character. Now, one thing I'm not sure about is how this character is going to end up interacting with modded items. Obviously, I'm playing this with my regular mods, and that could cause some issues. But at least we have this little grey locust here, which is going to allow us to deal a bit more direct damage, as well as, like, destroying poops and firing at range and stuff. But we did get SMB Superfan right off the bat. And this is yet another thing that we're noticing already. It's a great example of this. We've actually got a unique sprite, a unique visual for SMB Superfans. Some items do have their own unique uh, visuals for this character. And as you saw, not only did we get a damage up, but also a fire rate up, which means our flies are going to come out at a little more of a rapid pace. Also, that's really nice. Um, yeah, flies are going to come out at a little more of a rapid pace. And um, they're going to deal a bit more damage. Wow, we are getting lucky with the HP right now. i got to say, we are getting lucky with the HP. I might come back for you. Mr. Me's a, a pretty good item, so I might come back to you if I get another penny. Ooh, that was a bad hit. But don't worry, like I said, we have a ton of HP here. And as you can see, we can kind of have the ability to play this character pretty passively. We can kind of do what we want in the room and let the flies just kind of deal with everything else in the meantime and it's, it's kind of an interesting way of playing i'm really glad actually we got smb super fan off the bat like gives us a bit of leeway in our health damage and fire rate for later on but also it's a unique costume i wasn't expecting to see a unique costume so soon that was kind of my worry with modded items being a big part of this is the fact that all, all of those aren't going to have unique synergies and unique uh, interactions you know some of them might end up having accidental interactions this is a very hard boss for us yeah, it's a very hard boss for us because our, our flies are inherently going to um, going to target the uh, the actual flies. And because they can't kill them in one hit, we're having a little bit of a hard time killing the actual boss itself. But this is why we have the Locust to help us out. It's not doing the best damage, but it is good enough. There you go, you can see. And even then, you can see that the character isn't that, uh, isn't that weak. It seems like it'd be quite a weak character, but... Honestly, it's working out quite nicely. I think with this character, we're just going to go for the normal floor. We did get another fire rate up here. I didn't check my library. I'm stupid. I do apologize about that. That was a bit of a mistake on my behalf there, but oh well, we live and we learn. Um, but yes, uh, now we've actually got another fire rate up, which means our fly generation is going to be pretty damn nice this early on. We're going to have a pretty, uh, a pretty speedy recovery of flies here. Nice, there's more HP. Ooh, Curse of Creation. Creating back some of those rocks there for us. And we'll see what we end up getting from the uh, from the item room this time around. Whether it'll be an item room or, or whatnot. But one thing we do need to kind of keep in mind is anything that's going to lower our damage or lower our tiers should be items we probably don't take as this character. Because they're kind of going to have an ill effect on the, the main benefits of this guy. Shoop the Whoop is a is a pretty good example of, of a... Of a great um item for us just because this could be slightly problematic i've got to be quick here Ooh, hypercalculation unfortunately it isn't actually that good for us but i will take it nonetheless it's gonna spawn red hearts which oh actually hmm it might it might, it might spawn um, spiders on being hit because we can't actually spawn red hearts. But yeah, now with Shoop the Whoop, we do have an alternative uh, method of damage that's kind of like a way out, so to say. Like, I don't want to obviously um, abuse it all the time. Ooh, unknown. Let's have a look. Straight to... Oh, this is a reverse emperor, I believe, that we've got here. Which is kind of bad because we are not prepared. 
Yeah, we are not prepared for this fight at all. We do, we do not have enough damage. We might even have to use our blackout. We don't have any bombs. We don't have shoot the loop ready. I was not prepared. I do like the card though, giving you just a random card. It's, it's basically something that I'll always pop, but no, that at any time it could ruin my run. Because it could like teleport me to an error room based on some modded cards. It could uh, reroll my entire run based on some cards as well. Um, it could activate a bunch of pills. It's, there's all sorts of different wacky effects that it could do to mess me up, but I'll always try it because it's fun. <laughs> Randomness is the spice of life. But yeah, we just about did this guy in. We uh, actually didn't take us too long. And we do get a health upgrade, which increases our total fly count to seven, as I was saying earlier. Does still give us a soul heart as well. Ooh, I kind of forgot we still had the regular boss as well here. But yeah, another thing to think about with Shoop the Woof. Shoop the Woof does uh, damage based on the damage that we currently have. So that kind of means that... Ooh, we got fire at that. That's nice. means that Shoop the Woof, Shoop the Woof isn't be doing that much damage right now. Uh, we don't have anything there that I'd prefer to take. Um, and I don't really think we have much of a reason to stick on this floor. We've got a lot of spiders going on. We must have got a lot of um, a lot of red heart drops from that boss fight with the gurglings there. But let's keep on moving. I'm not going to go all path yet because this character seems reasonably difficult to, to get maneuver around rooms full of enemies. And I feel like Downpour has a lot of that, so... <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, we've got a nice little army going on right now. I'm hoping to get another health upgrade and a damage upgrade this floor. That would really put us in a sweet spot for our uh, fly generation as well as... Um, nice. A fly generation as well as killing things a little faster. But at the minute, I think we're killing stuff at a, a very, very reasonable rate. Like, nothing seems to be going all too wrong. Having, having our amount of fly generation bumped up to seven has definitely helped. But let's see what the item room this floor holds for us. Oh my god. So we can kind of stay like over here, wait until we generate a bunch of flies, then move over and get them all working. Right, let's uh, try this out. But as you can see, look, shoot the whoop there. It's doing very, very little damage. It's kind of hard for that to be a, a top tier item for us just because... I think it does seven times your tier damage, which is still good, but seven times two isn't exactly that high. It's kind of one of those items that really, it's the rich get richer. It's not going to scale very highly if you don't have high damage already. Bombs are going to be a very big friend of ours for bosses, actually. Very big friend indeed. Right, there you go. Oh, that, there was a hat, like a, a pit there that I didn't realize. Go, my flies. This is kind of an inter interesting boss, actually, because... In the interim period while he's underground, it gives us time to basically regenerate all of our flies back. And then when he pops back up, he gets sort of an onslaught barrage of flies coming at him. Now, having three of those on the screen at one time is a bit scary, but we just about did that. And as you see, it comes back up again and we've got all our flies ready. And this is just a very unique way of playing. I kind of initially assumed this character might be a little dull, just because you're not actively shooting as much. But I think that, I think that, like... If you just treat it like a normal character, I wonder if this will give us a fly up as well. It didn't, but it did give us a fire rate up for the floor, which is nice. Um, I was going to say because it's a modded one, I didn't know if it actually give us a fly rate up, because that is a health upgrade technically. Still gives us, gives us the soul heart though. But yeah, I kind of thought that you, because of this character's sort of passive nature in the way that he plays, um, that would create some sort of problems with their with, uh, pacing and make, make him a little less interesting to play but i actually completely disagree with my previous assessment i think that this character is very fun and you have to be quite sort of active and mindful about how you play him which is great uh, i'm hoping we can get an extra bomb here and go into our shop because we do have the ability to buy something this floor and i feel like the shop could potentially be really good whoa 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 whoa, whoa. why are our flies purple now the heck um, that seems to be due to hollowed ground. Now, one thing I am just going to quickly check. I may be wrong in assuming this, but I'm going to go check, see if there's a, a list on the hollows page of item effects. I don't know if there actually is. Um, but it doesn't look to be at the moment, but I'm not entirely sure what's caused us to have purple flies. Because I would assume that that's herming, but they already kind of have herming. 
I'm guessing that's got to be something to do with our hollowed, hollowed ground poop. And maybe, maybe if we, um, if we get hit, do you know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's get hit. Spawn a hollowed ground. It does actually increase our fly rate by a good amount here. And we can't even accidentally destroy the poop because we don't shoot. Yeah, a little confused by this, but honestly, the purple aesthetic, I'm liking it. The purple aesthetic, and I'm, I'm down with that. Right. Intriguing. Intriguing. I'm not quite sure what to say about that. Maybe the developer, if they're watching, will be able to leave a comment. Or someone else that's played the character, perhaps. I know a lot of you out there that are watching these are, um, are looking to try these characters out yourself. Or maybe already have and just want to see my opinion on them. Either way, let's uh, let's go into our shop here and hope for something good. I don't really know what I'm hoping for, I'll be honest. Molten Dime is pretty good. Um, it it would overwrite shoot the whoop, but I think we've got to do it. I mean, look at how valuable this was for us. We got the map. From, from the ashes, from nothing, we get the map. Basically, Molten Dime is um, kind of like a riskier but potentially more rewarding crooked penny uh in the way that it will duplicate things the way um like crooked penny does but it won't duplicate them exactly it'll duplicate the type so if you duplicate an item it won't give you the same item it'll just give you another pedestal from the same pool but the riskier part of it is that if you fail you take damage it's not just like crooked penny where it deletes everything it deletes everything and you take damage. So it's got a bit more risk associated with it, definitely. But yeah, it seems like we've kept our um, our purple flies, which I'm definitely not upset about. Only slightly confused. Uh, we got our item room here. Good. These are the sort of rooms I feel are going to be the hardest. Because we have quite a lot of enemies here. And we also have the, the problem, the problematic situation of um, these enemies not dying initially like without bomb i really feel like this is gonna be a very very hard room for us to um to get through but i think what we need to do is drag them all over here and then we need to go back over here and sit in this to generate some more flies at higher damage yeah this this was the way this was the way i'm really liking having that now we'll check this out burn spares i think we try and dupe unfortunately we got unlucky um, I feel like we've got to try with these things with Molten, and unless the item's going to give us, like, an absolute definite benefit, I feel like we have to try with a Molten Dime, or, of course, if we don't have enough health to reliably use it. That's another reason why we wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think we want to be using it if we can't reliably live, but I think for the most part, we're going to be fine. Um, let's check in here. Arcade's doing its thing. Ooh, do you know what? I know that we're likely to have a shop that I want to use, but playing this guy is potentially very useful. Because a health upgrade would give us a soul heart, but it would also... Ah, we got luck foot. Luck foot's still good, though. I was going to say it would have um, also helped us in the way of um, giving us more flies as a maximum. But we didn't end up getting that. That didn't end up being the case. But I still think luck foot's a very, very good thing for us to have. Extra luck and the machines being a bit better and also all pills being a bit better is... Uh, well, I won't say being a bit better. They all, they're all better because they're all positive now. Um, is is a huge benefit to us. Right. Room like this is a bit saucy. But you're dead. This guy's going to split into two, so get ready for that. As a champion, he's going to take a little while to kill, actually, because our damage still isn't great. We're, we're getting near to the... I'd say we're getting near to the point of damage, like, of high damage. I think... Really, you can't say on this character that you have high damage until you have, like, 4.5 or higher. I hate this. I hate this. But, I say I hate this. This is another great thing about this character. We get to play very passively, sit back over here, not have to chase every single one of these around the room, and just every now and again try and get in, in there with our Locust. Otherwise, we can kind of relax a little and let the, uh... Let the flies take care of our problems, and they seem to be doing an absolutely bang-up job of doing that. If one of these dudes gets near us, our flies deal with them. There you go. I I do want to check out the dice room, because I, I think I would go for a full reroll on this run, despite this run being pretty good. 
I, I, I would be interested to, to go for a full reroll just to see what else we end up getting. Um, I really like Hollowed Ground, by the way. It's a really good synergy because we can't accidentally break the poop anymore. That's like one of the biggest concerns with Hollowed Ground, that you get it, but then the poop's gone because you accidentally destroyed it. But that's not really a problem anymore. So, I mean, this is why we do it. So here we got Hive Mind, which of course is insane. Um, and we do that and we get um, 9 Volt as well. Hello. So yeah, this is pretty amazing. And then we get School Bag as well, which is, again, pretty good. Um, and then we got these pills, which are all going to be good. Don't know what range does. Health up's really good. Speed up's really good. Yeah, so... I'm not sure exactly how Hive Mind's going to work, but it normally makes flies do three times damage rather than two times. So I imagine it's exactly the same, which is probably one of the best items you can get for this character. It's it's essentially like getting um, like getting a damage multiplier. Yes, it's essentially a damage multiplier, which is pretty awesome as a character like this. So I'm, I'm excited to uh, have a run where we got Hive Mind. I'm trying to think of what other items would be just insane. Maybe Fishtail? Uh, increase fly production. I don't know how that would work with this character. Do you know the trinket? But I think that would be a very good one, potentially. By the way, I'm going to keep going back to the shop until I just delete everything in that shop. It just keeps working. It just keeps working, doesn't it? But as you can see, we're getting different pills. We got a balls of steel. This is pretty incredible. <laughs> I gotta say, this is pretty incredible. Oh, what the hell? We got an item there. This is a funny item, actually. So this item here is an incredible item that's obscenely powerful. By the way, please don't tell me this is a normal rune. Please tell me that this normally doesn't spawn an item every time, because that would be way too powerful. But either way, this item, while tears are in the air, they fire Tech X lasers. But... We don't have tears, so it's it's one of the most powerful items in, in, in modding, I, I gotta say. It's, it's absurdly powerful, but it literally is no good to us. <laughs> kind of funny. Right, shop one more time. I'm really liking our Molten Dime right now. It's it's really, like, obviously we got hit there, but it's pulling out all the stops for us for the most part. We got um, four shop items from it so far. In this in this one run, we've had four shop items. Because that's, that's one, one of the interesting things about it, like... Because it's not duplicating the direct item, you can you can actually build a run with it. But obviously you have that associated cost of if you fail, it's going to put you in hot water a little bit. Now I do want to see what our Magician card does for us here. I doubt it does anything. I'm fairly sure this is um, safe Gerdy, by the way. Gerdy where we don't have to do anything. In fact, I'm going to let you hit me just to... Excuse me, what destroyed my poop? Damn it. I think uh, my locust got inside the poop. Damn it. That was not meant to happen. Either way, let's carry on. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of a problem with the fact that there's some flies behind him that we can't kill. But otherwise, not too bad. Oh my god. Yeah, there's, there's flies behind this dude that I can't physically attack. This is annoying. Okay, there you go. We got him. Oh, there's another one. Dude, this is not fair. We got an angel deal here. Bar of Serp's going to be really nice for us. Don't know if shot speed is affected. Um, right. I think I think we take holy water just because it's good, and then we try this out. Yeah, holy water's going to be pretty good, I think. Again, we can kind of play a little bit passively here. Let our flies do most of the work. I'm a little bit annoyed at how much I got hit on that last boss fight there. I feel like a lot of those hits were completely unwarranted. Right, so now you're dead. And then we do this. Ah, I had to try it. I had to try it. Health is looking a little bit on the weaker side of things now. Like, not the greatest. Um, But... Eh. <laughs> it's like, I'm kind of okay with it just because of how this run's going. Like... I think we need. it'd be nice to get another active, which is maybe why I should have bought Jar of Wisps. But I kind of... There was two reasons I decided against Jar of Wisps. Main one being I forgot I had Backpack. 
<laughs> Second one being, though, and probably the more important one, is I don't really think taking an item that gives us the ability to shoot is really within the spirit of this character. I want to try and stick to the fly-only regime that this character forces upon us. I actually cannot humanly believe the amount of hits I'm taking right now. This is genuinely obscene. I've taken so many dumb hits. I'm really, really hoping I can get some soul hearts from like a tinted rock or something this floor because boy, boy, I am doing bad. Ooh, rotate around her, her rotates around her enemies and breaks rocks. The chain to spiky. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's pretty cool. And here we got a black heart and the tinted rock. Immediately walked into a spiked rock though, so that's always good. But this is, if we're going to get one of these every room, I'm guessing it spawns randomly on positions of rocks. I gotta say, I like it. That's, that's a really cool little familiar there. I think that's part of the cursed pack, if I remember correctly. And I've got to say, very well done, because it's very cool. Oh my god. Am I broken? Is my brain just mush? How do I keep getting hit so much? <laughs> I feel like I never get hit this. Maybe it's just because... Okay, my face has gone back to normal now, by the way. Maybe it's just because I'm normally a bit more used to being able to defend myself via my tears. What even hit me then? Maybe it's just because I'm a bit more used to being able to defend myself via my tears and now I'm no longer able to do so. Because I think using tear knockback as a defense mechanism is a pretty important thing in Isaac. Oh my god. Um, when a deal room doesn't appear after defeating a boss... Um... After defeating the floor's boss, the boss item has a 33% chance of turning into a devil item. Otherwise, the item is turned into a soul heart. It's a trinket. The heck? Okay. Okay. I can get down with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm really embarrassed for the amount of hits that I've taken thus far. I feel like it's, in a word, just terrible. Really don't like this. It's, in a word, pretty terrible, but such is the world. We'll try our best. I really love our little spinny dude. He's the best. A penny for me. Thank you. God damn, we need... We need to, I can't believe I've been, like... I asked for health. I was given health, and I lost all the health. Okay, enemies like these are hellish. I don't think the spiky ball thing can hurt us. I really hope it can't. No, it can't. Good. But I think we can just kind of sit around here and hope this, these dudes walk into this. There you go. Beautiful. Right, shop. I'm hoping. Yep, there you go. Ooh, there's pins in here. Careful for them. Okay. Soul Heart is a must-buy. Getting hit is not good. Did that do a full heart of damage as well? I think it did. Oof. Oh, please, stop taking hits, you idiot. Right. It's gish time. This is actually a... Do you know what, dude? This is a bullshit gish fight. <laughs> this is a really, really hard gish arena. Stop getting up in my shit. Go away. There you go. Don't you dare squish my, uh, my poop. Yeah, this is just really hard. <laughs> oh, that's good. Got some good stuff going on there. Okay, let's just stun him for a little longer. I still got hit! Ah! My health. Okay. I think this trinket's trash. I will be leaving it there. Like, it's like, that's a cool idea, but 33% chance is not enough. Not even nearly enough for it to be worth it, in my opinion. 
to, to lose an item and just get a soul heart. That seems eh. No, thank you. I will take my leave. God, I am like on the verge of a breakdown in this run though. I just keep, I just don't know what's going on with my, my, my mind. I just keep getting hit to some really stupid stuff. Ah, oh, that's not very good. It's it's like it is good, but it's not good for what we need it for. So we need to we need to roll for like a tier effect or something. Let's try it. I mean. What would this even do? Like, see, in my mind, I'm like, hey, we should definitely take that, because if it has a synergy and I don't take it, I'll be upset. But if I take it and it does nothing, it's a huge waste. I feel like we have to take it, though. Seems like it did nothing. It really does seem like it didn't do anything whatsoever, which is a shame. It's fine, it's fine. I kind of had the feeling it might do nothing, but I was like, I have to test it, right? Can't, like, just... Not know. <laughs> I've got a, a big meaty brain jumping around. These enemies are such a pain. Because our flies aren't going to hit them from the back. They're always just going to hit them from whatever, whatever angle they can. Okay, that's got to be a red heart, right? Hmm, now this. Hmm. Right. Got to do some testing first. Electric dice, I definitely want you. But do the flies that I produce via my character's gimmick actually give me flies in my jar if they do we're in we're in for a good time but i don't think they do because normally only only um enemies killed by tears fill up the jar which sadly yeah oh no wait Ooh, wait oh wait, wait, wait we got two in there i'm not quite sure how we got two in there i have to do some some more testing here Hmm. I'm a little confused right now. That did not fill it. Okay. I mean, we might as well hold on to it. We might as well hold on to it. I don't see why we wouldn't. But let's zip, zip, zappity zoo back to the shop and hope for the best. Because electric dice could really, really screw this up or make it awesome. It really screwed us over. Um, and I guess it's going to for the most part. Yeah. So the jar is kind of iffy. The jar is kind of iffy. It might end up being great. It might end up being trash. We don't really know. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I've just had an idea. Just had an idea. This could cost me quite a lot of HP if I'm not careful about how I do this. But I've had an idea. Go back over to the shop. I think we can use the restock machine to refill the shop and try and molten penny again. Right? If that's how this works. It does indeed do that. That's a soul heart for sure. I'll definitely be grabbing those two. And we'll pop that. Okay. It, it worked and didn't work simultaneously. Odd. But now we can hold more trinkets, which is good. And it'll also spawn a trinket for us, which is nice. We get uh, red poots no longer regrow, which is fine. We get full mapping here. Okay, we now have a, a newly refilled shop. So now... We gotta go do that again, right? So we gotta go... First of all, let's get in line here. I think it's like here. Yeah. You can have my jar. I'll be honest, you can have my jar. My jar isn't doing much for me. And we get strikes a group of enemies with lightning. I'm gonna I'm gonna molten dice that. And it's it's everyone's shouting at me and telling me it's a terrible Ooh. 
is this going to increase our fly count? It is. Now we can have up to nine. Really good. God damn, we have a lot of chunky, chunky flies and spiders on the room here. It's really nice. We're doing 7.3 per fly, I think, here. Pretty good. Or 16.3? 7.3, I think it is. Hey, Eternal Heart here. Ooh, another Soul Heart. This is Basically, Soul Hearts right now are just fuel for Molten Coins, so I'm all for it. I know for a fact I'm going to end up losing this, but I've, I had to try it. You, you know me. I had to. I knew I was going to lose it, but I couldn't not. You see? Right. Let's, uh, let's nestle in here where the spike rotator is. Go back around. Back to the shop again. Oh my. <laughs> That's a spicy, spicy boy. Right, so, what does the stamp do? Rerolls items and pickups for a price may instead destroy them. Well, that just seems like on brand for us, doesn't it? The compass is going to give us the full, full mapping. We've got a lot of scratches here. I feel like we should uh, play out these scratches. Seems like a lot of them are not doing so well. Oh my god, we've not even won a single scratcher yet. There's one. Paperclip. I think I just want both of these trinkets, I'll be honest. Last scratcher. You got an item. You can stay right there, my buddy. My, my boy. Hermit. Just teleports us straight back in here. The sun is just... Use it, why not? Duplicate our money, because, yeah. Another hermit. I'm just getting rid of these off of the floor, so I'm a bit more aware of what's going on. Pop this out here. The tower. Chariots, whatever. Soul Jacob and these out is not for me. The tower. Okay. Now, let's let all these blow up for a starters. We are going to go, once again, to charge up our active. And we are going to try again. Because <laughs> this is entertaining to me. <laughs> molten, molten Dime or Molten Penny, whatever it's called, is very fun. It's very stupid, and I love it. It's one of those items where the normally the rewards far outweigh the risk, but it's still kind of a complicated item to use. Right, so now we head all the way back. I like this little shortcut route that we've made through the boss trap room here. <laughs> I quite like it. Stops us having to go all the way around. Um, right, so we'll see what this does. It, of course, annihilates everything. Why wouldn't it? But then... Also, we've got a lot of spiders right now. There you go. Ooh. Is that a reflected... Oh, wait. It's a reflected red candle. Kind of funny. Um, we'll buy that. And the rest is... The rest is fodder. Oh, we do have a, another secret room here. I didn't even realise that. Is it, like, here? I never know where, quite where to place this. There you go. Got it just about right. Hello. Oh, okay. I see... I see... I see the gimmick that you're providing for me, game. And I see the immaculate heart you're providing for me, game. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Immaculate Heart, everybody. Very nice. We'll be coming back to that shop again, though. Don't you worry. That shop shall be returned to. Restock machines, for this reason, are, like, real busted. Uh, we have a Dominic just up there as well. We have a Glitched Heart here. We have a Black Heart. Nice. That spider we've got going on right now is kind of crazy. Do you know what? Red ruined that bad boy. I love that music. It's so good. Right. Molten Dime. Are you ready to go again, my Molten Dime? Fly Army. Spider Army. All of you. On guard. The Spider Army, I don't know what's happened to it. It's got kind of out of control. I... 
is the dime maybe duplicating spiders on occasion? Is that a thing? Maybe? Because I don't feel like we've got that many red hearts. But then again, you don't see the red hearts drop on the floor. So maybe that's why. Because they automatically turn to spiders. Kind of one of those deals where when it's not right in front of your face, it's not so obvious. Anyways, we go boom. We of course take damage. We will go for one more on this because I think we've only got one more attempt. We actually have more than one. We're getting a lot of reflecteds, by the way. Oh, also, we can um, we can do this just to speed up the process a little bit. Hey, -o. Um, Okay. We did indeed... Get this going on. Alabaster box. I feel like that's dangerous for us. I feel like alabaster box is a little too little too saucy for me. Everything's gone again. Why do I keep stomping on my own dreams? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm everything's confusing. Right, uh, let's just assess, assess. Hoarder is good. We have a sword. 33% um, chance to spawn around and pick up upon killing a champion. Ooh, that's cool. Um, recharge our active. That. That's fine. What cards we got going on here? Wheel of Fortune. We got another Scratcher. Give us the dollar. Oh, stock credit. Sorry, not the dollar. Strength is whatever. The world is whatever. Oh, we can take all these pills as well. The world is whatever. Got speed. Health up. Health up. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Oh, yeah, our energy. I really wish I could push these batteries out before inevitably destroying them, but there you go. Oopsie. Did not mean to pick that up. Oh, that was so annoying as well. I just picked up a bomb. And it kind of screwed me, because now I can't afford the battery. You little shyster. Now I've got to go and do another room. Which is all the way over there. Unless I can find a penny from somewhere else, which is doubtful. But this is, uh, this this run's gone awry. This run has gone awry. It's, um, it's taken a turn. Ooh, there is, a, there is technically a penny there. I feel like we should attempt to use at least. Right, let's get a charge first. Let's do this. There's a penny. Okay, right. Back again. Right, we basically have one more attempt to break the shop. And so far, we're doing a very good job of it. I'm not a person that breaks the game often, but when it's presented so clearly to you, for a character of which it's so evidently, like, I wouldn't say needed, but like, it helps the character a lot. Okay, we, we got uh, we got a charge there. Um, oh my lord. I kind of love it when that happens. Um, right. Okay, we got a lot of items here. So we'll grab that. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. Oh, I, I spent by accident. Whoopsie. Um, we'll grab that. We will grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, which is actually the active that I want, so I'll take that, um, and then we'll grab that, pop that, spawn a bunch of money, which is good, Then we've got Poke going here. Um, I think I definitely want these two actives. So I think now we grab all the pennies we can. Pennies and coins, that is. And we pop that. It did indeed destroy everything, as suspected. Ooh. Hmm. See, if I buy Nun's Habit, I don't know. How many shops we got left? We don't. 
fuck here. Damn it. <laughs> I had to try it. Hmm. Okay, let's just buy this and go. <laughs> we've, we've reached the point at which this is getting a bit ridiculous. How long have I been here now? Well, 40 minutes on depth 2. Quite long for me. Anyways, let's keep her going. Hopefully we can get some fly-related trinkets because my mum's box is kind of the main reason I stuck with it. Hello. How are you, mother? Goodbye, mother. Oh, there's our trinket in effect. We got Golden Blessed Penny and Golden Azazel Stump. I think we definitely want that. Um, Spirit's Heart. Tier Multiply if we don't have any red hearts. Ooh, that's really good for us. That's, ooh, that's incredible for us. Oh my god. We got Swarm Protector or Revelation. I feel like Revelation is just kind of a must-take. And I was just about to say, it will actually give us the beam, which... Oh, we have Tiny Planet, don't we? Of course. Right, let me fight you. What in the fuck was that? Okay, so we're Seraphim now. Um, Are you telling me that when my flies hit an enemy... It spawns a Revelations Beam? Because if that's the case that we are currently working under... Oh my lord, this is incredible. I broke the game and I didn't even need to. I had this going on. I don't know why we produced a half heart there, but... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep using our... Um... Oh, this is incredible. This is genuinely the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my lord. Um, we're going to keep using our box of friends to try and produce a bunch of um, trinkets. Look at that. Oh, this is so strong. I love it. Quite possibly. Worm stat boosts. Worm's stat boosts are tripled. Okay, that doesn't actually matter for us, does it? We definitely want to keep this. Okay. Let's go for our secret rooms. I kind of want to, do, like, do as many rooms as I can here just to try and get the trinket chances up. I actually can't believe how absurd this is. I love it. The best. Hello, sir. Just what the hell? There's one. Get gulped. Hey yo, I love that. Oh hello, where did you come from, Viz boy? Oh, there's another hand. Oh my god, did not know that. Chad dice isn't really that relevant to our run. This is just, it's just beautiful. Confessional. I don't really think we need to use that, do we? Oh, Brimstone, but I did not see you there. Right, another room here. Just get to the middle of the room and watch all hell break loose. Unfortunately, another flop. I keep forgetting we've got a three room charge on this bad boy as well. There you go. And we got BFF as well. Oh, there's another one. Oh, although this one technically won't be automatically smelted because it is a modded one. But I am going to keep it because it's going to be producing locusts for us. I think Locust Avoid just produces a random locust when we enter a room. Nope. 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 And away we go. Ah, oh, this is just gorgeous. This this run has become something so beautiful. Ooh, a health up pill. Thank you. Health up. <laughs> oh, this run. 
Um, why were the feet still coming down then? Damage up even better. Yeah, we, we got to the point with our actual damage stat now where things have gotten really out of control. Things are going to be dying pretty much immediately, even without Revelation. But Revelation's really uh, upped the ante a bit, hasn't it? Ooh. Now this is an interesting prospect. Okay, strawberry milk in there, bad boy. I think our first course of action here is to try this out. <laughs> Little portal. You've gotta be you've gotta be having a giggle game. Little portal, you're funny. Oh god damn it. Oh, these little dudes are going to be great. Beams coming at you. I'm just going to keep doing this until it fails. Okay. Hasn't failed yet. Isn't Mark just a huge tears up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think Monstro's Lung's worth taking. I think Monstro's Lung could be quite bad for us because it's a massive tears down. take that though. The rest can be duplicated once again. It, it'll, it'll fail this time, I'm almost sure of it. But Right, next room we get another trinket. Walking into a bomb chest opens them for free. That's pretty cool. Right. Are you ready? Uh, blocks 100% of incoming damage every time damage is blocked. The chance to decrease by 10%. Till it reaches zero, it breaks and spawns green creep. That's very good, but not necessary right now. It still worked. Oh my god. Right, grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Bada babby. Um, what does this do again? Whoopsie. I just re-rolled all of those. Oh, I also accidentally got strawberry milk. Which is great because that's a double damage. Eden's blessing, hell yeah. A book. Let's go for that. Right, we go again. This is Oh. Everything about this is beautiful. Also I accidentally picked up a trinket once again. It's gonna happen a lot. I can't believe how many how much tears this uh, trinket's giving us. So wait, marked actually does work. In the, in the in the sense that it does let us like get our little marked angle thing going on. Oh my lord, that dude was annihilated. Right, items. Are you ready to rumble? There you go. On. Damn it. That's it. I mean, technically, we could try and pay this guy out. I doubt he'll pay out, though. For some, guy, for some reason, these guys are reluctant to pay out. But it did give us a lot of money, which could let us pay out with a uh, small rock here. There you go, like that. And we go again. The cycle continues. Dude, antibiotics, please just go away over here so I stop accidentally picking you while walking through rooms. It's very annoying. It's just trinkets littering every surface. Oh my lord. Right. Back again. <laughs> it, it's, it's just addicting to break the game like this. It really is. I know I'm meant to be showcasing this character, but we've reached critical mass with this guy. Right. Is it going to go, or do we get items? We did get an item. Not one that we want, though. you got to remember, this is taking away Soul Heart every time I try it. I am kind of playing this a little risky right now. But we're getting Soul Hearts back when we kill enemies, as you can see. Dude. Get yourself up. There you go. That's a lot of money, holy hell. Right, another pop at the champ. Let's go. 
All you need is one item and electric dice and everything is peachy. Or you could fail, which we have done yet again. Which is just the way, the way of the warrior now, isn't it? Ooh, there you go. Another, another attempt, ripe and ready. Should we really go for any more though? Nah, let's let's leave it for this floor. That's uh, that's enough breaking the game. That is surely enough. Ooh, we got an eternal heart somewhere over here. Oh, there you go. That's Book of um, Jubilees, I believe, that gave us that. We don't have any bombs, do we? We just paid out with them all. Come on, fellas. Damn, we're, we're getting kind of unlucky with the um, the fly-related trinkets, unfortunately. Not getting many of those. Yeah, <laughs> thought of that as much. Ooh, these would be good if we um, if we weren't going to be leaving this floor. Macro key. Oh, my please space items when they are fully charged. Ooh, no thank you. That would be dangerous. But yeah, those items aren't going to be very good for us otherwise. Right. We missed Hush by uh, precisely 20 minutes. <laughs> I think we're going to round this one out. Ooh, another new item here. Wants four to six soul hearts on pickup. That's really good. How is that a tier one? A quality one, even. Not that qualities really determine much anymore, but still. Ooh, Red Penny. Red Penny is real fun. I think I will take Red Penny here. Red Penny, when we pick up a penny, we have a chance of getting a cracked key or opening up a, um, a red room. As you can see there, we just opened one. What the hell's this? Extra damage up prevents all darkness effects. Yep, I like it. There you go. No way. We, it's kind of useless now because it's like a bit too late, but reveals the ultra secret room. Maybe we'll do this. Do you know what? Worked out just fine, didn't it? Oh my god. So we got we got basically the same item. Reveals the location of ultra secret rooms. There you go. We also got... um this back and we also got this which i don't think will make any difference um yeah cracked and we got a treasure room chucky mill does chucky mill would that do anything i think we'll just yeah i'm gonna say I, i'm just gonna try and pop that because why not If it'd stop accidentally swapping trinkets, that'd be real nice. Right. There's also a spare sack room in here if we wanted one. Ah, I got a bunch of pennies there, but it didn't end up amounting to anything. Beautiful. I was avoiding that spiky ball then, then I realized I have no need to. I'll check what that bag is though. What the hell's the bag? Killing enemy has a chance to give a blue wisp. Uh, can be sold at a high price. Sold to what? What the hell? Sold? What do you mean sold? How do you sell things? Hello. We also got the crystal key as well. Okay, I think at this point our tier rate no longer matters. So let's just go for the crystal key plus the red. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Just go for them too. Tier rate's not a big deal for us anymore. Now I just want to open up a lot of red rooms. Ooh, 
Oh, we do have a, a good soul heart in this other room here. Gimme, gimme. Thank you. Nice, there's that opened up. Damn, still no fly trinkets. I should be taking these pills. I can see forever. Is gulped upon pickup trinkets have a 50% chance to be gulped when picked up? That seems real good. We've got trinkets here, there, and everywhere. I'm trying to pick a bunch of them up and see if they go. Not that one. <laughs> Although that one doesn't actually matter. I was, saying, I was saying that, but yeah, it doesn't actually matter. Okay. Please go. Please go. Please go. Uh oh, damn it. Let's see what else there is that's gulpable. Okay. Well, that, that seems to be it. Alright, so let's take that. Nope. I would like this. And then the actual drink that we wanted is here. Cool. Wait, where's that crystal key gone? Was that in here? Hmm. I've lost the crystal key, it seems. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Cool. We are good to go. Nice. <laughs> through, we, through we go. This has just been... A hell of a crazy one. Ooh, happy bag's always great. I'll definitely take the friendly sack there. Gutsy baby's kind of cool. The rest is duplicatable. And we got that, which I'll definitely take. And the rest is duplicatable again, actually. And I'll take Mongo, baby. I'll take Mongo, baby. Go, my pretties. Do my bidding. We should get a lot of red rooms here. Typeset. I guess we'll take typeset. The mulligan. I, I know that it's not actually that valuable, but it... There you go. Gave us Beelzebub, so why not? And do you know what? I'll take this as well. It could give us spun. It didn't, but could have done. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Red room off of a red room. Spin down dice. Oh, boy. God damn, this last floor could take a while. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what we're in for. $3 bill? Why not? I'm guessing it works. Yeah, this, this run has become something else. A whole nother beast, so to say. Okay. Got the pail. That'll give a spun, definitely. Ooh, what the hell? What is that? Um, what's that? I gotta spin down here just to see what this is. Okay, it's just the wrong sprite. I see. Oh no no, it's not. Spin down's wholly unreliable because of electric dice. It's very very unreliable indeed. I'll take that. I didn't even think about. No, Willow, how could you, Willow, my boy? Willow seemed to have crashed the game. We'll be right back. We will be right back. Okay, now, does anyone remember what we were doing to achieve all of that fuckery? 
Because I don't. We did that. We've got very different items than what we had last time, which is intriguing. Um, in fact, so much so that I think we should just keep trying to get rid of all of those. Okay, we don't have spin down dice this time, which is probably a good thing, I'll be honest. We got typeset again. Oh my god, how am I not going to get hit in this room? Somehow I did it. Somehow I managed. Right. That time it was brutal. We got we got savage that time. I wonder if the chance for red rooms is different on this. Because I like you never know what's seeded when you restart. Obviously the items and rooms and stuff are seeded, but otherwise you don't really know. It's another red room for us, lovely. Beautiful. It seems that uh, $3 bill is uh, coming in clutch. Ooh, we got ourselves a cracked key, which can um, help us get into here. Buttermilk. The player will now shoot a cluster of poop bubbles behind them when shooting. These bubbles will quickly deaccelerate. Nah, thank you. Get gone. Oh, hello there. These are also items I don't particularly care for. Oh my lord. The hell just happened. Okay. Uh, I think we should be taking pretty much all of these. Have I ever told y'all how much I like Molten Dime? <laughs> Anything else in there we desperately want? I think we should probably take Mark of Cain just in case we die. It's super unlikely, but <laughs> in case something goes hor horribly wrong. Also, quickly escape and continue the run to save our progress. It will remember this room if the game crashes now. We're about to get every red room item in the entire game. I was joking, but... Okay. <laughs> we got red key. Hey, red key. Um, Yeah, why not? Okay. So, this is intriguing. Isaac's heart's in there. I don't even know what hit me then. Blood explosion. Ooh, interesting. Okay. We don't want Hemolactrix. That'll just slow down our fire rate a bunch. We don't want Judas's Fez because I think that'll hurt us. Okay, let's just leave. Come back in to get rid of the pedestals at least. What does this do? Um, the Cross of Chaos. Enemies that you c that come close, you become crippled. Okay. Okay. Then, once again, we back out of this room. Quickly make sure the game saves so it doesn't die when we crash it. Again, inevitably. Because you know what I'm doing, guys. You, you know what I'm going to do here. You know the madness never stops. I don't... How do I even... How do I even thumbnail this video? How? Somebody tell me. It keeps succeeding, and I don't know how. I'm fairly sure that red apple item there isn't actually supposed to be able to spawn. I'm almost certain that's the case. I'll take one of these, because it seems to want me to. Right. We'll do that again, shall we? Dad's key. Hello. I will take Dad's key. Why not? Again, we shall be saving the game to make sure if it crashes, we can re resume from a decent point when we've got stuff that we want. Oh, God damn. I love this. It's hilarious. It's dumb. Oh, and there you go. It's over. It all comes to a grinding halt eventually. Electric dice, my beauty, my darling, my baby. You will never be forgotten.
I don't, I don't even know what items I have anymore. But we have 106 damage. So... We should be okay. Not getting as many red rooms as I thought we'd be getting, but I can't really complain, I feel. We've got a lot of wisps, by the way. Don't know where we're getting all these wisps from. I think it was one of the trinkets we have, maybe? But we're getting a lot of them. I'll leave my flies to do my bidding. I'm just literally using the wisps as a weapon. I have that many. Whoa. <laughs> Don't even know what happened there, but it was entertaining. You know what it is, bitch. Oh, I, you, you just, you can't blame me for trying. I want secret room items. Imagine an Archie on this run. An Aki on this room would be pretty awesome. Although, I have to say, already quite a long run already. Might not be the best of ideas. I'm not going to do the blue baby boss, but I am going to do as many rooms as I can. Dominic, I see you. I miss completely, but I see you. I'm failing every single Molten Dime now. This is penance for what I just achieved. Got the Mitre, why not? I mean, do you know what? I might as well at least go kill him. It'll be quick, I promise. <laughs> right. Back up to Mega Satan. Let's go. Let's try it. See, it's like... So now, our fly, upon hitting the boss, does 200 damage. 260 on top of that, it then does a Revelations Beam for 132 damage. Quite strong. Right. Get in here. And sit back and enjoy the show, I guess. Also, I don't know why we have 12 fire rate, but we do. Flies, if you'd like to get in there, that'd be nice. I suppose this has more of the Void and Revelation popping constantly, so we might as well do it. But we can pretty much AFK this entire boss fight and be completely fine, apart from when he brimstones. But honestly, I'll, I'll let him have that. I'll let him have that. I feel like he deserves that. But he doesn't even get a chance. He doesn't even get a chance. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. It's so beautiful. It's like a web. I bet the creator is going to watch this video and be like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> Look at how they massacred my boy. <laughs> okay, we need a cracked key for that. Although, pennies. Oh. Could have activated the uh, red room there. Right, we don't know where we're going here, so we're just going to do our thing. Ooh, there's a red room. Hey, fellas. How you doing? Y'all want some of this? 
no, 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 not again. It kind of freaks me out now that, like, when I pop one of those rapidly, I just hear glimpses of my own voice. It's kind of creepy, but... Hello. Alright, let me make my way back over to where I was. Oh, there was a soul heart there. Let me grab that. A nice little shortcut there. Don't think we can, we can't open that at the minute. Okay. I'll accept that. There's another one. Oh, well, this is a crazy looking room. This is a crazy looking room. That's all the keys. I don't know why that one let me open it, but... There you go. We got a bed this time as well. Weirdly. This could be delirium here. Yeah, it is. Okay. One moment. I am back. I just shit myself a bit because my door started knocking. And I was like, oh shit, my girlfriend's home. And there's no one here. Um, I think the wind is just like knocking it, but it scared the hell out of me. Okay, how, is the, how quickly is it going to kill this bad boy? You know what it is, boy. I love how red our item tracker is. Ooh, there you go. He's, he's in his regular form. That means he's dead. Oh god, my door. It keeps knocking. It's, it's honestly scary. I'm in on my own. It's just my door keeps knocking. It's like, excuse me. Hello. Well, there you go. That puts an end to that run. <laughs> I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was just incredible. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. What a great showcase of this character.